Okay, this is our system for installing chain link fence posts. As you can see, we've got a whole bunch of them already. We're in frosty ground where you got to get the poles down deep and it's a lot of work to set them in concrete or whatever. So we're using the Pilex screw poles, which you turn in the ground. And these are going to go in the ground like three and a half feet. How are they going to go in, you ask? With a two by four going around and around the merry-go-round? No. <laughs> Look what we got here. You can watch it level, plumb, all the way down. Put your fence post level on there. Put your ear plugs in. Nice thing about using these Pilex screw posts for the chain link fencing is the line posts, the smaller line posts, inch and a half, fit just nicely over top of the Pilex post. So once you've got the Pilex post in the ground, like this one, you slide your fence post over and you tap it down with the hammer until it's at the height you want. And you can adjust the heights later. As you can see out here in the field, we haven't adjusted all the heights yet. We wait to put the top rail on and then we can just tap them down until they get nice and level and you can uh, make a nice straight line. The corner posts, the heavier corner and end posts are larger, so they fit loosely. They would fit too loose on the Pilex post, but a uh, very simple, cheap solution. Inch and a quarter polyethylene water tubing just happens to fit just nicely inside the end post and just nicely over top of the Pilex post with a hammer. So you slide the tubing onto the bottom of the post and when you're posting the ground you tap it down and it works just great. Actually what you do is you pound this on first until it's down to the top of the post and it'll stay there and then the post taps on on top. And that's the end of the system. Thank you Pilots.